Hi guys, I'm here with Noel from uh, Red Gum, Barabi. Barabi, yeah. Honey. Yeah. You can find that name on Facebook. He's yeah. going to take us through his setup and the things he does. Yeah. All yours. Right here. Yeah. Because uh, it's winter time, um, they don't get much flour in. Yeah. It's pollen, so I'm, I'm feeding them at the moment. Okay. This is just sugar and water. Sugar to water. Turn into syrup. So they just help themselves because you've got tiny little holes in there yeah. and it's seeping out and they, they'll suck the honey out until it's dry or the syrup out. And we go around, we've got the different hives here. These are some new ones I made up this year. Okay. So that's why they're small. Plus during winter time you, you bring them back small. Yeah. Because the hives have got to be, they run the hives about 31 degrees. Okay. So if you have it too big like that, yeah. it's too much to heat up unless there's chock a block full of bees. Okay. So that's why they're still there because they're just loaded with bees. That's so, good. Yeah. so these bottom ones is where they enter? Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's for ventilation. Yeah, that's for ventilation. Okay. During summer, they'll they'll stand out here yeah. and they'll blow in. They'll blow the air through that yeah. and come up and bust in I'll also open another one here. Okay. So the idea is winter time you get a lot of oh well, you get them all year round, but wax moth is they get in there and lay the eggs yeah. and they'll just destroy your hives. The okay. larvae will eat all your wax out and you know, oh, eventually yeah. kills the hive dive. Okay. So I usually shut them back. So they don't have to guard as many holes. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. So it's a bit, they're not very active today. They yeah. were a while ago when the sun was out. Yeah. They were just everywhere. So and yeah. and do, you, you, do you wear any of the stuff or are you yeah, used yeah, to it now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I still put all on because sometimes you'll, you might not need it. Yeah. Other times, you'll, as soon as you open it up with, the, you know, even you use a smoker and that, yeah. it'll just, that'll just hammer you. Okay. It'll just attack <laughs> you, so, yeah. So if I'm looking for the queen in the in the brood box, which yeah. is down here, I try not to use a smoker okay. because it, it makes them dizzy. Well, or... No, not dizzy. They call it racy because they just run around everywhere real fast, and it's very hard to find the queen and they'll hide her. Okay. So I try to just to settle them down a little bit. Then as I slowly work my way down, I try not to put smoke yeah. in there. That keeps them a lot calmer. Okay. And do it on a warm day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, they don't like it. In this cold weather, they're still coming out because it's nice, good food. Yeah. That was full the other day, so that you can see how much they suck up. And well, pretty, takes pretty quick. Yeah. Good feeders. Yeah, yeah. And it's such, such a simple idea too. Yeah. Some of the videos I've seen, uh, people have the sugar water and just spray it around wherever they want them to get, get distracted instead of using a smoker. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And it's like, yeah, they just look for the sugar and yeah. they're, they're happy with that. Well, that's what, when you use a smoker, they, they just, they smell smoke, so they go in and yeah. start um, it just distracts them, just makes them go looking for, they get the big gut full of honey and off they'll go, you yeah, know, yeah. just in case there is fire around. Yeah. But it also calms them down a bit, because sometimes they, you get real aggro sometimes. Yeah. Depends on your queen. If you've okay. got a real nasty queen, the whole hive <laughs> is real nasty. Okay. I've had it some down at North Dandalup, yeah. where they just attack you. They just stings up and down your arms, oh, no. left, right and centre. So this is me decapping machine. Okay. Um, Frame. Get all of these frames. So you got that's called got usually got wax on. Yeah. You put that into there, and that goes through a chain, and you got the teeth. We'll cut it off. Okay. And spits it out, and comes down the other end. And that's that's the bits which it's which has yeah, been yeah, cut off. Yeah, because you got two. Yeah, you got two. Comes back and trims it off, nice and even there. Yeah. All the all the wax which you see see down in there. Yeah. What would you use the wax for? Ah, uh, I've got, uh, yeah, that's what melted down there. I've got to take a couple of kilos up to work. A lady up there wants, wants it. Okay. Uh, they use it all sorts of stuff. You know, a lot of people use it for making lip balm or okay. uh, the, those wax wraps these days. Yeah. So. Yeah, the wax wraps are pretty popular these yeah. days. Yeah, so once it comes in, then I load it, this is my spinner. Okay. Yeah, it's got eight, I can hold up 18 frames in there. So once you, you, Take off the the, the cap caps, not, yeah. Then you put them in there, yeah, yeah, because and keep spinning until spin the honey until, comes out. Until most of it comes out. Okay. So um, so these are full. They're full. Yeah. That's full. Did you make these yourself, like, or did you buy them and then? Oh, put you buy the them from Bunnings and just put that on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, it's just an easy way of trying to store stuff and that. Mm. I'm trying not to. I've got to have a better way. I'm trying. I'm trying to work a better way for filtration system. Yeah. Because it's just taking me too long at the moment. So. Without going real big, massive, big machines and that, so pretty good setup. Yeah, and see so that big silver container over there—that's chocolate box for honey. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
and not everything I everything used I'll put through the freezer before it comes into here. Or okay. well, after I do the honey in that, yeah. it goes through the freezer and comes back here and stored. What's uh, why do you put it in the freezer? It kills any if there's any bugs or wax moth in there. Okay. Because wax moth will still stay in there and because it's nice and humid in here, yeah. it'll hatch out and before you realise it'll be chock a block okay. full. See, all those are full of frames, they're called what we call stickies. Yeah. Which I've used during the year. Okay. Yeah. What stickies again? They're, they're the frames after they've oh. been through the, the spinner. Okay. And it's left with all the wax and a little yeah. bit of honey. Okay. So yeah, you can't get all the honey out, so yeah. they call them stickies. So you stick. So when it comes to spring next time, I can take them out of there yeah. and put them straight into. Okay. Yeah. Do you, do you also get um, like propolis or bee pollen uh, from your hives? No, I just haven't got enough time. Yeah. <laughs> I can I've, imagine. I've got about eighty hives at the moment. Oh wow. So unless you set up to do it. Yeah. Like you can do it if you're cleaning down Popopolis, but it's just, yeah, it's I always thought about making lollies out of it, you yeah. know, Popopolis lollies and all that, yeah. but it's just one of those things, you just haven't got enough time, you've got to figure out what you're going to do, yeah. you can't do everything. Yeah. And, and do you do this full time? No, I still work away. Okay. So yeah, I still so work away, I still got to renovate the house, yeah, so yeah. I do this, so when spring and summertime, I'm flat out on my week off doing all these stuff, travelling around the country. Okay. Good. So these are called drone frames. Yeah, because you've got a bigger hole there. Yeah. So it allows the drones are bigger. Bigger. Yeah. So they'll okay. make that wax out bigger. Okay. So they'll, they'll put drones in that, which is males. Yeah. So if you start doing that during winter time, it will put a lot more um, drones out there for your queens to breed with. Yeah. And their job is just to breed with the queen. Yeah. Once they have, once they breed, they die. Okay. And they. Starving the hive will start let the drones starve during yeah. winter time because they won't feed themselves in the hive Okay, so the, the little workers will stop feeding the drones that way they'll die off so they're not eating the food Yeah, yeah. so if you've got food out there and you breed your drones it'll be right. Okay. Yeah So are these the different kinds of honey? Yeah, 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 that's um This is a this is a new one I made the other day. It's a lemon and lime honey. Okay, so how do you infuse them? Um, well, you've got to dehydrate everything yeah. because otherwise, as it floats on top, yeah. you can get, I think, botches it when it, like a fungus. Okay. Like a, yeah. yeah, so it can, it can kill you very quickly. So well, that's why you've got, you've got to be careful, you've got to dehydrate everything so there's no moisture. Yeah. So when you put it, mix it back in here again, it'll suck any moisture or water back out, so it okay. adds the flavour back in again. Okay. So yeah, um, I'll give you a try. Yeah. I'm going to dig my hands again. Let's see, we have infused turmeric honey, infused cinnamon honey, and this one is lemon and lime infused honey. So this is uh, um, that's the before you put it in the jar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's the infused lemon and lime, and that's the cinnamon. You just want to have a try? Yeah. 